Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're going to be having some fun with book pages and some acrylic paints. So if you have a book, um, I, this is just a fiction book, um, might even be a children's book, I'm not sure, uh, but it has nice caramelized colored pages and I thought that would uh, show off what we're going to do really well. Here's another, this just happens to be an old book that I've been slowly working my way through, it's called Heart Throbs. I made a journal from the cover of this book once and we incorporated some of these little, it's full of poems related to heart related things. So I thought this might be a fun book to grab some pages from and do some things in the text area. So let's see if we can actually just rip this book apart, free some of these pages like we do. And there's, oh, the village doctor there. That's going to be a good one. We'll paint over that one for sure. Um, oh, here's a nice text block here. So I'm going to grab those. There's really no right or wrong pages to use. doesn't matter if they're white or not. I think it will all work. But the net, more porous the paper, the better. So the drier, non-shiny pages, the better, I think, in this case. Although I think it would actually work with any kind of book pages. But what we're going to do, let me just free a few of these babies. I don't know how many we're going to actually do here, but we shall see. Okay, we'll just work with this one first of all. Come here. Come here. Okay, so what I have here is a nice little array of acrylic paints, just various colors. I'm thinking I'm going to do some flower uh, designs, something very easy to do, any beginner can do, but you can take it from there with your own skill level for sure, of course. And we're going to use our Aquarellable Stabilo pencil 8046, the water soluble graphite pencil that no crafter should be without, in my opinion. Okay, uh, it's actually a really fun thing. So I haven't done this before with acrylic. I've done, I haven't done this before at all, actually, so let's just give it a go. I have painted on book pages before, but I have used watercolor before, but this time we're gonna use acrylic because we're gonna be using the water dissolvable Aquarellable Stabilo pencil to make the design pop. And it's gonna be very handy to have a paint that doesn't dissolve in water. Now watercolor, when you add water to it, is going to make the watercolor pigment spread. Hopefully the acrylic will not do that. So I've got my bin of multiple brushes here that I've collected over the years. I over collect brushes like a crazy woman, but I always, you know, and then can never find the brush I need. Okay. But I'm, I'm just randomly looking here and I just saw it a second ago. Where was it? It was like right there looking at me and now I can't find it. So we'll, we'll just use another one. That's what we do in these cases. All right, find the brush pan. Okay, just in here, I have a collection of brushes. Oh, let me see if I can find one. I want one that uh, has a sharp point. Okay, how about this one? It has a sharp, sharp edges, so I can do some sharp. Here's a fine point. We'll keep that one out. But I can also do bigger area. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I like a, like a filbert shape. We could even use this. I don't know if we really use this with acrylic, but let's just get started and see what happens. Okay, okay there was a brush. I don't know where. Maybe we'll bring this one out. This guy, he has multiple ways of using him. Okay, I do have water glasses here to rinse my brushes so they don't dry out. Probably not a good idea to use water glasses. You don't want to commingle your glassware with paintware because of toxicity things. So don't use glasses that you drink out of. There we go. Okay. And let's just begin to paint. Now I could paint this any old way. I can keep it so the text is up and uh, I can turn it on its side and paint because it's, this is just design, background design. It's not really designed for reading. It's just for um, creative energy. In fact, this actually has more text on it. I'm going to use this one. I think I'm going to go in the right side up design format. And now I need a little place to put my ink. My, pa my paint, not my ink. Okay, so I'm just going to use this uh, leftover piece of cardstock, and I think I'm going to put a little blob of white down here. And I'm going to do a white flower first. Let's just try that. We're going to go neutrals first and see how this comes out. Maybe I'm going to try this brush. This is one of those, you know, those brushes. Don't know the name. It has a name, I'm sure. I think it's like a Japanese brush or something like that, but they're really handy. They come in. It's probably better with watercolor. So you definitely want to rinse this out right away because it will dry and harden and you'll never use your brush again. So I'm just going to do random easy flowers, just 
simple petals. Like there's really no wrong way to do a petal in this regard. Okay, so we're just like using the brush shape to make the petal shapes. Pretty easy, right? Um, little to no talent in the art world required. Um, four petals, five petals. Hey, these are your flowers. Make them any way you like. No right, no wrong. Probably should have done it thinner. Oh, okay, I lost my middle part five. We'll put five there. And I can put a fifth here. There we go. And... Um, Rinsing, rinsing this out. Okay. Here's me rinsing. Do, 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 do. That looks pretty good. And then we have, the. this is going to be now the dirty water. And okay, I just did a big faux pas. You don't want to submerge this top part of your, like you don't want to get water in here because it'll make your wooden brushes crack, which I have now done twice. Don't do that. That's like a that's like a bad thing in some world, somewhere. It's, don't do it. Just don't do it. All right, I'm gonna get a, a napkin here to I can lay the, the wet brushes down. Okay, so I've got that. It's already starting to dry a bit. I think I wanna put a central color in, so I'm going to put another color of paint. I probably put way too much white paint out here. Maybe I'll put, do blue, blue. Okay, now, yeah, now. Let's go with, let's go with green. Okay, we'll put a green daub in the center. You don't need much, Pam. Just go lightly on the, the paint. I probably should have shaken it. Did I? No. Okay, so there you have it. So this, in a sense, the point takes place of the point need on this brush. So they, this comes to a point. So I'm going to see if I can just use the point end of this brush. And... Oh, okay. And I'm, I'm just putting some dots. That's we're going dotty. Okay. All right. This one might spread. No. See, acrylic doesn't behave the way watercolor does. It doesn't spread and bloom and do all that fun stuff. It just sort of stays where you put it, unless you have excess, like I did here. I'll just put one more dot there. I feel more balanced there. Okay. So now I have that, and then maybe I'm going to do some stemmage. Probably should have put something underneath this. But you can bring this to a point again. It's a very handy little brush. If you only can buy one brush, this brush will get you through a lot of pinches. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we have something that looks like that, which is kind of pretty already, right? Rinse the brush. Don't forget. Oh, I did it again. Too far. Yeah, into the thing. I'll probably lose the brush because I'm breaking all the rules yet again. Okay, here we go. Get the green out, get the green out. Get the green out. Okay, daub. Final rinse. All clean, ready for the next color. Okay, good. Okay, so now, this is like watching paint dry. So what we'll do is we'll just do a few of these and we'll do some different examples and then we'll go back with the Aquabrella Bilstabilla pencil and uh, see if we can make some magic happen. Okay, so let's pick. Um, I like these long designs. Maybe I could do something with that. All right, let's go for a little more color action here. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna take this cameo pink apple barrel. I think I got this stuff at Walmart. They they sell this stuff um, in their craft sec section. Okay, so let me move this over. And that one is almost dry. Okay, just put a little pink down there. Maybe we'll do some pink flowers this time. We're going to use the same brush to see how that goes. Um, let's see if we can do some different style flowers with the same brush. So that would mean... Okay, okay, okay. All right, so get some brush, get some paint on the brush. And now, for initially, that one I went like this, but maybe this time I can turn it. And I'm going to give the... I don't know, is it going to make a difference? Let's see. Um, okay. Okay, this is getting more pointier um, petals because I'm using the tip at the outside as opposed to the the inside. The rounded end was at the, like the, the, the lower, like here was there, right? Because I went like that around. This time I'm going like that where the pointy end is at. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, 
just carry on. Okay, so I'm going to do some, some different ones here. Let's see, we can actually paint the flowers. It can be like something like that. How about that? Uh, like almost like bluebells or something, but these are pink bells because they're upside down. Okay, little one. They don't have to be the same. Maybe we'll like one that's pointing up. These are just different kinds of flowers, okay? They seem to be the same color, but they're, they're different types of flowers. And down here we're going to even have a different flower. And this is maybe going to be one that looks just like, like three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And that's going to be a side view of a flower. Okay, we're going to rinse this now. Rinse, 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 rinse. Correct rinsing. Correct rinsing technique and maneuver going on here. We finally learned our lesson late in the game. Final rinse. Final rinse of the pink. Oh, a lot of debris on there, obviously. Okay. Okay, so now, now we're going to come in with the green again. We're going to form our little point with the brush. Okay, tip. Dip in the tip. And, okay, so we're going to, oh, okay, so we're going to figure out what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Just randomly drawing stems. Okay, these are going to have down, down. Maybe that's going to come from the same thing. How about that? I think there's one more petal over here, one more flower that needs a home. Oops. Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay, a little more paint there. Okay, a little more paint there. Okay. All right, now that big guy? It's gonna, it almost looks like a daffodil or something to me. Okay. I'm just gonna put him down there. All right, that'll, that'll explain him. Give him a little more action there. A little more action, a little more action. A little more leafy action going on. There's a st staple. What are these things called? Staples? No, something like that. There's a word for those things. Coddly dunce? No, that's not it. That's something else. Never mind. Back away slowly. Digging yourself into a corner. Rinsing. All right, that first one's definitely dry. So we are going to go ahead and play with the first one while this one dries. I think I want to put some white on these pink flowers. I don't know why. I just I feel it. Feeling it. And I've got so much white paint here, I might as well. I'm dipping. Oh, can you see that? Yep, dipping. Okay, so. Okay, I want to make it look like this flower. That's kind of like looking that way. Yeah, that's what, that, that's what I was trying to go for there. I don't know if I pulled it off, but I tried. That's all you can do is try. And I don't know about these. I would just leave them. It would be better to have left alone. But if I do something, I must just do it. Hmm. Maybe I can like lightly streak the shapes. Almost like whoop, that was a little fat. Um, the shape of this, these little tiny petals. Looks like little hands almost. Oh, more white paint. So it's like a pink and white. Flower. And dots. How about dots? There we go. Dots are different. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, good. Dot. Okay. Now we're going to let that dry. Okay. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Dot, bob, dob. Final rinse, dop, 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 rinse, 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 dop, dop, dop. Okay, there we go. All right, let's move our paint before we stick our elbow in that baby. Yep, that could happen. All right, so let's try this. Here's the theory. Proof in the pudding. You're going to see it here, whether it's worthwhile or not. <laughs> okay, let's let you dry for a second. Yeah, this one's pretty much dry, and I think I'm really just concerned about the borders. So what I want to do... You could do this two different ways, actually. You can come around. I'm going to show you both ways. You can come and pencil draw it first, just like you would a regular pencil. Just go around your design. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just general shape. And you're already making the picture pop. 
All right, you can see how that flower pops out off the page more than the others. Um, the other technique is, where's my squirt bottle? There it is. No, I'm trying not to knock over anything. I'm going to make a little hand cup. And I'm going to wet the pencil, which is highly recommended not to do, but I'm going to do it anyway because it dissolves your pencil faster, I think. That's why. Oh. Yeah, so you're kind of doing the process with the expansion of the paint, if I could keep my paper still, at the same time. So you're going to let me know which one technique you like better. I need more wetness there. It's good. It takes quite a bit of wetness. Now, don't, don't decide on that one yet because we have to add the water to it. Okay. A mm, little more water. Pencil is dissolving as we draw. I'm going to go in a little bit on these. Yeah, just giving a little more architectural design here to this flower. That's just defining the shape of the petals a little bit more. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm drawing right through wet. Now, I, see, I'm co totally going off, off topic here. This has nothing to do with anything we're doing. I'm just playing at this point. Okay, and just give those little streaky things you see in the center of flowers. That's fine. Okay, maybe mop that up with something, something close by. Okay, so we have one more flower. So what are we going to do with this one? Okay, so this is, I got, I got, I got a little issue going on here. Okay, we'll just, that'll dry, so it's all okay. Don't worry. Lift that up. Just dry it underneath a bit. Okay, so now this last guy I'm going to try shading and see if what shading does. Like, get, take it out a bit more. And when we add the water, I want to see what that does. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever done that. So we're going to try that here. Trying something different. Laying down some of this pigment. And we're just going to see what on earth happens. This is the experimental page. Remember, you can always cut this up if you don't like the look of the, you know, they're all too different. I don't know. Are they too different? We're going to find out. Okay, so a Q-tip works well here. Something tells me I put one right close by. Nope. Got to go get another one. Okay, I'm right here. I have not left the building. Everything is fine. And I'm back. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay, so get our hand cup in play again. Okay, we'll do the first one. Wedding. I need more water than this, totally. Okay. Uh, that's pretty wet. So you don't want it sopping. You want it damp. Damp, damp sopping. Somewhere in between damp and sopping. Enough wetness so that the pencil will spread. But not so much that you're totally... I totally dribbled onto this. I'm just going to use this. Um, yeah, but, but not so much that your paper is going to tear. Okay, so... The ink seems to be staying in place. I don't know what that little issue was. What's that? I don't know. I'll try to draw over it. Whatever it is. Yeah, some kind of ink or paint. There's no ink here, Pam. This is not ink. Okay, this. Now, I'm going to actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do half of it. I'm going to come along and try and bloom it even more. See where this will take it. And then the other half, I'll leave it as is so you can see the difference. Does it migrate more? Or does it just, is it already done migrating and that's all we get? So we're going to see. And then this last one is our shading technique. All right. Oh, that's kind of cool. That definitely pops a lot more, doesn't it? Wow. Look at the difference on that baby. Huh. If I was a real artist, it would look really cool. Um, all right. There we go. So very different looks from the same pencil. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, don't even know what to say about it other than I think it's pretty cool. We could also go down the sides of, like one side of the stem, and that will pop the stem a little bit more if you want that to be popped. And you can, you can wet it or not wet it. I'm going to wet it just so we can see the full action that can be done. Okay. There you go, baby. So white actually looks really nice against the caramelized um, book page. We're going to set that aside to dry. And then there's this. I have no idea what's going to happen here. We're going to see what it looks like with pink, basically. So I'm going to do the same idea. I'm going to come along and I'm just going to 
and draw around this flower these pointy petals okay 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 I'm gonna go I'm going to go to the right side of each petal I don't know why I just think that it's like an artsy thing you do to the right side of where the the sun is, I guess, coming from this way, and that's casting the shadow. This one, it was done inappropriately. Don't do that side. It should have only been this side. And then this side of the petal, and maybe a little bit there, but this was an error. So we, we pretend that never happened. And, okay, we'll do the same thing with this. We'll do that side of it. That's kind of cool. I may have to go finish those I, all the way around. I don't know. I'm unsure at this point, but I am going to do the same thing with the shading. That's kind of cool. This is fun. This is very relaxing. Um, these are easy supplies for anybody to get. Just grab a couple paintbrushes, Q-tips, maybe the Aquarella Bowl Stabilo pencil. Water-soluble graphite pencils are not all the same. This one is very good in my experience. I have tried others and I have not been satisfied. The other one seemed a little too stiff and chalky. This one seems to dissolve well. Maybe it's not as, I don't know. It's not a something. I'll give you that. Or it'll give me that. Somebody will give somebody something. Okay, here we come with the water. Okay, so you tell me, did you prefer before the bloom, after the bloom? Should I have bloomed them all? Only some of them? That, that could be done too. Whoop, that's a little bit much. Can we, can we please get... You can come in with a, a half of a rescue here. Yeah, there we go. If you've got too much water down, you can just pick it up with a tissue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Don't know what I'm doing here. This is like guesswork, but I'm just going with it. Oh, and the one side. One side and one side. That was kind of weird. They look like mushroom flowers or something, don't they? Weird, weird looking flowers. But um, they do stay in line with the little poem, which I think is kind of cute. And I might cut this down and use that piece um, or it could be a foldable and you could sign this and date it if you wanted to or just have fun with it um, now I think whoop, what are you doing here okay oh maybe that's an idea though maybe 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 I know what we can do maybe we can use this pencil just to do some random dots on the side just for fun I don't know what you know this is just the creative Reckless abandon going on here. No, it could be rain, could be snow, could be pollen. It could be nothing just other than design. I'm just going to I'm just going to be complete and finish the whole page like that. Speckled page. Don't know why I'm doing this, but it kind of looks cheetah. No, it doesn't look cheetah like, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I want to do something more to that flower. Will I should I do it with this? This looks like it doesn't have a sharp edge on it. Let me let me just smooth that out a little bit. It gets a little better. Oh, let's see. What can we do with you? We can um, we can define your petals better. So let's define that petal. Define that petal. Okay, just you can quit. That doesn't look right. I mean, it's almost looking like a poinsettia, a pink poinsettia. Um, yeah. And so does that, there, those, those things, you know what I mean? And sometimes these have little weird things that hang out, you know what I mean? That's probably not coming from the right place, but all right. You know, those little stamen, pistol -y things that kind of dangle. Um, so we'll give you some of those. Okay. Hey, those. Okay, there. There we go. Let me unit one, two. Okay. I'll give you one over there. Three. All right. I think you need some petal defining. I just feel like you do. Okay. A little bit more. What do we got? I'll see if it looks the same or different. I think you need some more defining. 
Whoop, too fat. Should have used a thinner one. It's okay. Too many? Maybe. Um, we'll leave that one blank just because. Should I? No, I shouldn't. Should I? You know what I think I want to do? I want to come in with some white. Let's grab the white. I'm going to white that up a little bit. Where's my brush of brushes? Here it is. The magic brush of all brushes. We need to dry this up because this is causing mayhem here. Mayhem. All right, let's put this down. See if we can make this any better. I'm not really a acrylic paint person. So I don't really play with acrylics because it's so committal with the... I'm just totally botching this one. So you can mute it down if you put too much on with the white a little bit. There. If you, don't, if you can't get a tiny little thin dot, you can go for a bigger smoosh. All right, there we go. Is that doing anything? I don't know. I think we just created a white flower. Now I feel like I want to come back in with some more black and just do something like this. Let's see. Let's do it small this way because we're looking at that side of the flower. It's going to be a little longer and more intense on this side. Okay. Is anybody screaming stop? You're killing it? I am. Okay. A little longer on there. And a little covered up here. Covered up. Covered up on this side because you can't see it because it's bent over. Yeah, that's that's better. That there we go. Now it's come together. Can you see it now? I can totally see it now. Um, okay. Okay. Stop him while you're ahead. Okay. A little more white in there. Okay, there, that's better. Coming with a little more black. Just a little. Two dots. Three. In art, you're supposed to use three, so there we go. Three. I don't know. Every time I hear myself say supposed to, I'm like, oh, doesn't that defeat the purpose of reckless abandon? I think so. Okay. So we have that. Now, now we're going to take it up one more level, and we're just going to do some mirror petals that have... Um, like they're behind petals. Okay, so they would look more like this on this side of the flower, I think. Oh, that looks like, like a shark fin. What did I do that for? It's too late. It's too late, sister. It's there. All right. Oh. Okay. You know what you hear? This is where the screaming of stop, back away. Too late. I like to keep going sometimes, though. That looks weird now. All right, just, just keep going. There we go. Makes no sense at all, but it's just kind of cool. Um, one more here? Okay. It's a very petally flower. Okay, there we go. Stopping. <laughs> but just having fun, just goofing around and seeing what you can do with it. So let's take a look at this now. We've got two examples here. So give me your opinion, thoughts. I can take it. Pros and cons, pluses and minuses. Where did we go right? Where did we go awry? Or where can we improve? And let's see if Snuffers, hello, are you present and accounted for? Yes, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, you are here. Okay, do you want to um, hide amongst the posies and get deliver your, your... Hello, everybody, it's Sunshine, up close and personal today at the Paper Outpost. This is um, Cub Pup Reporter Sunshine, half asleep, but always on the job. Yes, um, uh, Mom is working with acrylics. She normally doesn't, so it's a little scary around here. Um, we're very worried that she's not going to clean the brushes. And um, she's going to forget about those glasses with those stuff in it. And she's going to forget to rinse them out right away, Mom. Like, right away. You go rinse those out right now. Okay. I've been told. Yes, you've been told. <laughs> Don't say I didn't tell you. All right. Okay, so you wish them a happy day. Happy crafting, everybody. Okay, that's, that's very nice of you. Okay. 
Um, so there you go, folks. Thank you for hanging out today. Um, if you don't know, um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. And then every other day of the week, you can find video podcasts. You can watch or you can listen on any podcast platform that um, my stuff comes out on. So like on a bunch. I don't I just try your podcast thing. And, um, but if you want to watch the video podcasts on Spotify only. Um, I have a newsletter, a free monthly emailed newsletter. Link is down below. Um, oh, I had a thing with the link on it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And if you didn't, if you, if you can't find the link below, here's the pertinent information. Okay, there we go. If you got to write it all down. The top one will give you the newsletter. That's my email address. And that's my Etsy shop if you only want to see my stuff. Um, okay, I guess I should leave that there while I'm talking. Okay, so... Um, Boop. Okay. <sighs> um, I have an Etsy shop. If you're interested, I have fabric packs for sale right now. There are a few left, but they are going quickly. So if you're thinking about this, there's 40 plus pieces of fabric, eight, and eight by 10 and smaller in here, different types that are really fun for junk journal making, all sorts of things from muslins to laces to upholstery fabric, you name it, all sorts of different pieces. Plus the triple bonus of um, an old handwritten letter of some sort. Usually it's usually it is around 125 years old. Um, there is also, uh, a piece of vintage newspaper as well as a collection of old vintage stamps. That is, um, you don't need a, coo a coupon or a code to get that. And, um, that automatically comes with free priority mail shipping. And that is a fabric pack in my Etsy shop. I also sell fondles, which are collections of old and interesting paper, 100 plus pieces for your junk journaling pleasure. They're everything from uh, antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, music paper, dictionary paper, and all sorts of other very interesting book pages. Um, very fun for making junk journals with. If you're a collector or a historian, you're gonna find some interesting pieces in here. Okay. So there we go. We have these two babies done. They're quick. They're easy. They're fun. I highly recommend you tear out some book pages and just throw some paint on it and, and have some, oh, I, look at that. Look at that. See, that's how it happens right before your eyes. Did I, oh, I hope I got it on time. You do have a little wiggle room with uh, acrylic, but once it's dry, that stuff's not going anywhere. So you make sure you get it off your brushes. Again, do as I say, not as I do. Um, I have and Etsy shop where I also sell digi kits or printable downloads. Um, they're themed. There's over 200 to pick from, like birds and Victorian and um, calligraphy and celestial and dragonflies and butterflies and mushrooms and you name it. Forest friends, woodland creatures, all sorts of different themes. Um, and then um, if you don't like to uh, print at home, I have a print and mail service. Uh, all you do is buy the print and mail option and give me the names of 10 of my digi kits. And uh, if you go to www.thepaperoutpost.com, you're going to see only my stuff from, on Etsy. And then you can pick out which digi kit names. I only need the first two or three words. Send me your list through Etsy message or to, through to, where's that thing? I don't know where these things go, so but where do they go? Pam at thepaperoutpost.com is my email address. There it is. And uh, um, just send it there. And then uh, I will print those out on a nice lightweight cardstock for you. So you'll get 50 printed pages total. And that's free priority mail shipping with that as well. Also, I have a t-shirt shop or a merchandise shop. It, if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And uh, there you go. Um, I also am on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges over there and uh, uh, seeing what you guys make from these videos. It's very inspirational, very fun. And uh, thank you very much to our admin and mods for keeping it a safe, happy, and healthy place for everybody. And remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with a reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.